Hello my little pine souls and welcome to another Red M Let's Play. Today I decided to show you my property because we have a big update and I am super excited to show it to you. So I hope you're all doing good and I hope you're all looking forward to this video. With that I would say let's start the little tour. So here we have the entrance. It's really nice with like the antlers up there with the skulls. It just fits the vibe of the forest really good. On this side we have... Oh. I just realized something. I just realized something. I made myself... <laughs> I made myself a spotter coat that I can just put in so I actually have some animals here too. And now I hope that everything actually worked out correctly. But yes, I have my horses here. These are all Turkomans. On this side we have the little pasture. Really nice, really cute. Then we have a little a post box here. And then we have this beautiful way. And I will start with showing you the barn first. First of all we have a little cat statue standing at the window and it just looks like a little cat is sitting there and looking out and it is absolutely adorable. So I'm going to open this into the other direction just so we don't close off anything. You can already see the horses actually spawned in with the spooner coat. So I have my other turcomans here, my other little babies. Same on this side we have one too. Hi hi. So we have in every um, in every stall we have a little food tray. We have some more stuff laying up there and more hay on this side. We also have hay on this side. We have this little thing here with some cleaning stuff for the horses, with a brush and all. Then we have this little room here where we store horse tag and saddles and food and all of the beautiful things apples of course and if we go over here we have a little barrel here we have the bigger stall for in case in case we have a baby or something they can then stay in there as well but also if you look at them they're like way longer than the these so yeah in the end, they're kind of the same size. Then we can actually go up here. And I can kind of look out of here. It's really cool, really exciting. Here we have the little cat statue again. And if we look to the side, we have a little family of little cats. We have the, the mama cat with two babies next to her. One baby up there and one is actually sitting at the window, if you can see him. Maybe I should like go into free cam just so I can show it a little better. We have the mama cat with the two little babies. Adorable. And uh, we have another baby laying here. And one here looking out of the window like a little cutie. They do look a little bit odd because it's just the big model size down. But that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. They're still absolutely adorable and I just absolutely love how this this barn came out to, to look and I couldn't be more happy with it. So let's get down and then I'm gonna, you know what, no, I'm gonna actually go out of here and then I'm gonna show you that I have a back entrance here as well into the pasture with the horses that also have some water here and some hay to eat and a lot of grass and everything a little um how do you call those again i forgot how to call that but basically if it rains they can stand up uh, under here or if they want some shadow or anything and it's really nice i have another entrance back there or exit whatever you want to call it so and we have our water tower here Make sure that we always have enough water for our animals and for ourselves. And of course some lambs. 
make sure you can also see when it's dark. And then we will continue over to the little paddock. Here we have a little paddock where we can put the horses um, as well if we plan on riding them soon or if I just need to stall a horse for a little bit or not really stall because stall is more like the stalls, but you know what I mean, the paddock. Then we have some cows here. And we have two little calves as well, and they're absolutely adorable. And I do have to say already that the colors of the cows will probably always change. Because <laughs> every time I spawn them in, their coat color changes. That's why we also have a cream colored baby next to the brown and white cow. And it kind of doesn't fit 100%, but that's okay. That is okay. Maybe it's just... This mama's babies. <laughs> so we also have a beautiful little dog house in front of our main house with some water and of course with our little little boy Rex. Absolutely adorable. Here we have a little hitching post for, for I don't know if friends come over or if I just need to park my horse for a second and get something from inside. Those beautiful beautiful flowers. Then we have this little tree here with a birdhouse, because of course I have a birdhouse. And if I do some parkour, I can actually... Oh, maybe... It, oh, it even works like this. I can get on top of here. And this is my little tree platform. Platforms. It's not really a tree house, but it's tree platforms. And from here, I can potentially even look into the sky and everything and it's just beautiful it's so so nice with some books and a candle here so it can make nice and cozy Oops. <laughs> then we have a round a round pen here so if i need to train my horses or anything i can do that here my own little round pen really exciting really nice and this is probably one of my favorite places on my property it is so nice it's like a greenhouse and i have lots of plants here even like a little fountain and and a hammock i have a hammock this is so cool this is so nice i am so 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 happy how everything turned out we have even a chessboard so that's like it's just amazing it's so cool and it's it's just amazing <laughs> I can say that over and over again. So here we have a little outside area for the nice warm days where we can have dinner outside or breakfast or lunch or whatever. Really, really nice with a beautiful, beautiful view into the distant lands. And it's, oh, it's just so, so nice. I, I really can't put in words how happy it makes me. Then we have a little clothing line because of course I need that. Next to our little outhouse we have some chickens with of course some chicken feed here and they just live their beautiful little lives here and yeah now it's time to go inside. Oh first of all this is well very important some garden tools. So I will not go through the back door I will actually go through the front door just to give you the right impression of the house basically and how it is when you come in first so we first of all have this little um place here i will probably maybe even add some more but that is all things for later so first of all i can ah, you can actually hear the bell it's so cool and we come in into this really cozy looking kitchen that I absolutely like. It is so cute. It is so pretty with like the different things here and and the walls also fit so beautifully with it and I have some bread there and potatoes and, and apples and this absolutely adorable little kitchen aisle. I, I really could not be more happy with this. This is the most cute kitchen ever. If we look over here we have our little table where we can have some food and just just enjoy whatever we're making in the kitchen with this beautiful clothing hanger with the bears and the plant it's it's just so beautiful the little rock on the ground it's it's really exactly my vibe <laughs> <laughs> 
if we go over here, we'll actually get into the living room. It's a little bit crowded, but I absolutely love it. Because that's just how my real life house is as well. It's so cozy. It's so beautiful with this antler chandelier with the candles. It's wow. It is wow. <laughs> with this taxidermy and the uh, um, else on the walls and lots of plants, lots of pictures. It is so beautiful. Just just look at all those pictures and all those insects and the little alligator there. Or, and, and, oh. Just look at it. Just, just look at all the little details. It is absolutely stung, stunning. So beautiful. So cozy with like the multiple rocks on the ground. Absolutely love that. It's, it's everything I could have wished for, to be honest. So, and then if we get out of here again and make our way through here, we have another little table. So if this one is not big enough, we can also have some more fancy dinner over on this table. Of course, some more taxidermy because we can never have enough taxidermy. And upstairs we will do later. Here we have the back door that we saw to the outhouse with again a clothing hanger a coat rag or however you call it coat hanger coat rag um you know what i mean <laughs> with some plants and we have a little office here i also like this a lot it's so beautiful also how it's like most off a little bit from this to make it feel more like a room is so amazing. It gives it just this perfect vibe. We have our documents and everything here and a little table. Of course, a little fan in case it gets too warm with uh, some plants going through the ceiling. But in a way, I really like that. I like the overgrown look a lot. So that just fits. That just fits. With again, some Turks taxidermy, some other things, figurines and all. and. It's just beautiful. It's it's amazing. It's so, 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 so beautiful. And then we can go up here. We have more pelts and everything. And of course, some moose antlers. And along this little piece of the house it looks so cozy and so pretty. Then we have this little corner here. Where we can just relax in the afternoon and read some books or something. And look out in, into the and everything it's just it's just so so pretty so if i'm right this is going to be the bathroom yes here we have the bathroom it's still a little bit empty so i will probably add some more details some personal details but we have every essential thing everything we basically need we have a lamp we have a bathtub and um a sink with a mirror and Something where you can store stuff in the little... Is this, is this like a toilet? Probably. So I don't even have to go outside. That's amazing. So, over here, we have the guest room. Or more like, it's not really a guest room, but my friend Akame is living with me. And this is her little house. Or room, more like. It's her little room. It's really cozy as well. The little rock on the ground, some plants, and the book uh, case and another chest where she can put her clothes or something and a really cozy big bed and if we go one further it's going to be my room but i'm first going to go over here to show you my clothing room we have this beautiful beautiful mirror here where we can get ready for the day ready for any occasion and over here it is so, so beautiful. Just look at it. Just look how absolutely stunning this looks. This is the most beautiful setup ever. I absolutely love this. I basically told Fenris to make this room perfect to take outfit pictures. And they delivered. <laughs> they delivered so hard. Just look at this. And then I'll be able to just stand here and then and then put my outfits on and then and then take pictures with this beautiful setup. And it's oh I love it so much. I love it so much. I can actually if I go here, 
can actually change my outfits here as well. And it's it's just wow. It just everything I could have asked for. This is beautiful. Beyond, beyond my words. Like for real, I'm I'm speechless. This this is wow. This is just wow. <laughs> And then we will be going over to the master bedroom. So my bedroom. Because I'm also the one paying rent. <laughs> so first of all, we have this little um, area where I can just sit down, do my things and write my books and draw and whatever. With stunning paintings on the wall. I especially love this one a lot. It has like a mysterious vibe to it. It just, it just fits so good. And if we go over here, we have a little creative corner that I also absolutely love because I'm also a creative person in real life, so it just fits perfectly and it's so amazing. It's beautiful, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. And of course, of course, this absolutely amazing bed. Just look at those those cushions and the blanket and it just, it's just, wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I want this bed in real life. It is so cozy. It is beautiful beyond words. It's wow. It's just I just want to jump into that bed and cuddle up because that looks so fluffy. With this beautiful bench as well. It's it's really it's perfect. With another held on the ground and oh, just just look at it. It is so so beautiful. Really so so beautiful. Also, absolutely love the mushrooms. I, I absolutely love mushrooms, so yes. And we have a balcony as well. That also is a little bit more empty for now. Has a little bench, but nothing more. But for now, that is definitely okay. It's more, again, it's already more than I could have asked for. But look at this stunning view I have. Just imagine waking up in the morning, going out of your, your balcony room, basically. A balcony door. Go out of your room, still in your sleepwear, and just have this view. Maybe you even like put a coffee machine into your bathroom or something, so you just can make your coffee or tea. I prefer tea, to be honest. And then you just come out here and enjoy this absolutely beautiful view. It's it's so beautiful. Wait, let me put my time to 6 in the morning. This is... Just imagine this. You wake up to this. This is... Wow. Just, just... Wow. Really, just wow. I cannot say more. I can even have a little peek on my house from here. And, oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Or you enjoy like your last, I don't know, lavender tea of today. And you are in the evening. It's all pink and orange and it's so beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> I don't know how many times I said wow and beautiful in this video already. It's probably every second word. Um, but yes. I really, really like what Fenrir has made out of my property. And I also cannot wait to add my own little details. Just, just because, to be honest. Not that it's not enough yet, like, it's already perfect. Did I just hear a snake or something? Whatever. It's not that it's not perfect, but I still want to add some more personal things as well. Just to have, to be able to say like, hey, this little piece I put there. <laughs> But in general, in general, I am so happy with this property, with this house. And I can't wait to start making um, Red M roleplay videos again if I have the time. Having this house and general, generally this, this, this whole... It was a light glitch. In general, this property, and then being able to film and re like 
basically make my own little films here with everything I have. Wow. This is this is really so 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 beautiful. And in case Fenris is watching this video, thank you again so so much for making this property for me. I don't know this video comes a little bit late because I already have the property for quite some time and also have it decorated for quite some time already. But I just now got to make a video about it. And if you're watching this, thank you from the bottom of my heart for making this property what it is today. It is so beautiful. You did an amazing job here and I couldn't be more happy with it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes. And with that, and with that, I would say we'll be, uh, we'll be ending the video. And I hope you all enjoyed watching. I hope you all are as happy as I am with this beautiful property. And I hope you're also excited for future, future Red M roleplay videos that I'll be filming on my property as well. Ah, I, I, to be honest, I am speechless. I don't know what else to say. I'm really, really happy. So yeah, make sure to check out the socials in my description. I am now also pretty often on uh, live on Twitch. So make sure to check out that as well. Put on your notifications so you don't miss the next stream. If you want, you can also join my discord server that is also in the description it is called lepiota's pine forest and there i'm always updating on things and if i go live on twitch or upload a new video there you can also get notified for it so you don't miss anything and if you have enjoyed this video so far and you haven't subscribed yet now should be the time to click that button and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye